Moore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today I'll be speaking with you about CAC's flagship product, um, Wrinkle Stop Anti Wrinkle Wall. I'll be speaking with you about the Wrinkle Stop in the 3 3 8 inch diameter, which is our smallest uh, Wrinkle Stop that we have available. It's made for narrow web applications. The roll's available up to about a 30 inch face, it'll handle materials up to about 26 inches wide. Um, what we have here is a simple unwind rewind stand that we built for testing our equipment and also for doing videos like this. What we have on the unwind is a roll of a tensioned roll of polyethylene film. It's three mil. We go around a couple of either rolls. Um, all of the rolls in this machine have been lined up perfectly except for one roll. That's this roll here. Um, what we've done is we've skewed this roll on purpose to this roll to build wrinkles into the material. If you look at this mounting block here, you'll see that the edge of the mounting block is not flush with the frame. If you look across the machine, you'll see that the mounting block on the other side of the machine is flush with the frame. So what we've done this, with this roll is we've skewed it about a half inch or three quarters of an inch to this roll in order to build wrinkles into the material on purpose so I can show you the wrinkles being removed with the wrinkle stop. Another anti-wrinkle device that we have on this machine is the adjustable anti-wrinkle system. I've demonstrated the adjusted pulls in other videos on our website, so I'm not going to be showing that to you today. Um, with, uh, the roll that I'll be showing to you is the wrinkle stop today, and that's this roll here. A uh, couple of features about this roll is it comes with uh, powder coated uh, parts, so all the steel parts in this roll are powder coated. There's a rubber sleeve that's mounted across a series of discs inside, it's not adhered or um, vulcanized to a metal core. It is uh, a sleeve that is on top of discs that flex with the um, anti-wrinkle action of the roll. The way this roll works is as the roll is rotating, this, this rubber sleeve stretches for 180 degrees. The material laying on top of that rubber sleeve um, stretches with the sleeve and that's what pulls the wrinkles out of the material. This is a, a very good application for the wrinkle stop and then we have a nice, a good amount of wrap angle around the roll. The roll likes to see a lot of wrap. Um, we have a nice long leading distance to the roll that's unsupported web coming into the roll and a short lead out distance. Now, uh, the wrinkle stop works extremely well for tight applications where you might have a lot of, uh, uh, where you don't have a lot of real estate in your machine if you have a lot of tightly packed rolls. The wrinkle stop, our last concern with the wrinkle stop is lead in and lead out distance. We like to see a lot of wrap angle. Um, so a lot of times the wrinkle stop is used to replace existing either rolls or bolt rolls where bolt rolls aren't performing well for your application. The wrinkle stop is a linear, smooth surface, um, anti-wrinkle device. So there is no bow and there is no grooves. It has a rubber sleeve that stretches as it rotates it, as it rotates, and that's what takes wrinkles out of the material. The way that I'm going to demonstrate for you how this roll works, um, right now, if you take a look at the length of the rubber sleeve between these two end caps, you'll see that where the web is coming in, that dimension is around 28 and a quarter. On the opposite side where the web is leak going out of the roll, it's at that same dimension, about 28 and a quarter. So what the way the roll works is you take an Allen wrench, and you adjust this end cap. Now, as, as I adjust this end cap, you're going to see it tilt. So as I screw down on this screw, you're going to see this end cap tilt. I'm going to adjust it very slowly. But you'll see that tilting action of that end cap. So it's tilting sideways. So I'm tilting the end cap in that direction and out that direction on an axle that's built into this assembly. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So as I adjust this, You'll see that tilting action of that end cap. So I adjusted this end cap this direction. So I took the two end caps, I tilted them in towards each other and away from each other on the other side of the roll. So if I take take measure and I measure that distance, you're going to see on this side the rubber sleeve is now instead of 28 and a quarter, it's right around 28 inches on the entry side. And on the out, on the on the other side, it's around 28, uh, 28 and a half inches. So the material enters the side where the rubber sleeve is short. It enters at the twenty-eight inch dimension, and it exits on the twenty-eight and a half inch side. 
So as this roll is rotating, that rubber sleeve has to stretch for 180 degrees. It has to stretch from the short side to the long side. Then it contracts again from the long side to the short side, but your material is only on the section of the sleeve where it's expanding from, from the short side to the long side. And I'll show that to you right now. What we're going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to start up the machine. You're going to see wrinkles coming into the roll. And then on the output side of the roll, on this side of the roll, you'll see that the web will be completely flat. So if you look here, you'll see, up here, you'll see wrinkles in this section. Because of that skewed roll, you'll also see wrinkles coming in here. You'll see some wrinkles in this section here. But on the output side of this roll, there are no wrinkles at all. It's nice and flat. And also to demonstrate that, what I'll do is I'll unadjust these end caps. So I'm going to make it so that there is no expanding action. The sleeve is no longer going to expand. So I'm going to unadjust this side. And I'm going to unadjust this side. And now you'll start to see wrinkles come back. So these wrinkles are transferring all the way and also way across this roll. And you'll see wrinkles in this section. Again, as I adjust this, you'll see those wrinkles removed. Side of the wrinkle stop is completely flat. That's how the wrinkle stop works. I'm going to right now we're running at a very slow speed, so I'll speed that up. The wrinkle stop works as well at high speed as it does at slow speed. This machine will only go about 150 feet per minute max, but um, the wrinkle stop uh, is a bit, will handle this size wrinkle stop will handle up to 500 feet per minute max. So I'm going to slow that back down again. And I'm going to demonstrate, for those of you who are still skeptical about how the roll works, I'm going to demonstrate one other uh, feature of the roll. This roll is um, available with, or comes with the mounting blocks, typically. And typically when you mount it in your machine, this is how you want to mount it, where the short side, where the web enters the short side of the roll, wraps around the roll, exits on the long side. So what happens if you mount it backwards? I'm going to show you exactly how this roll works. If I take this... If I loosen up this mounting block, so typically you've mounted in your machine, you tighten up the mounting blocks, the shaft stays stationary. This is a dead shaft idler, so the shaft is stationary, the roll face turns around that. Now if I take and I orient this roll backwards, you'll see wrinkles be put into the material. So if I rotate it this way, now all of a sudden it's actually going to put wrinkles into the material. A lot of wrinkles. So what I've done is I've reversed the action of the roll. I'm uh, entering the short. I'm entering the long side of the sleeve, wrap around the roll, exit on the short side. So I'm, the roll is actually putting wrinkles in. You want to see those wrinkles removed? All I have to do is orient this roll. needs to be. You see all those wrinkles come out. Now it's oriented properly. That's exactly how the roll works. That's the concept behind the roll. The wrinkle stop is available in three different diameters. Again, this is the three and three eighths. We have a five and a half inch diameter wrinkle stop, which I've demonstrated in a separate video. We also have an eight inch diameter wrinkle stop that's available for very wide widths. Uh, up to over 200 inches wide and speeds up to 3,000 feet per minute. This diameter wrinkle stop will handle 500 feet per minute. It's really well suited for light tension applications. It only needs about an eighth of a PLI to turn with maximum um, anti-wrinkle action built into it. And the uh, five and a half inch diameter wrinkle stop is available up to about 100 inch face um, and it'll handle speeds up to about 1,000 feet per minute. Thank you for watching the video.